And there you have it. Dome of the Rock, built in the 8th century. Basically the story is that uh, Muhammad had a dream in which uh, Pegasus flew him to the holy mountain, which is this. And uh, they wanted to enshrine the area where he was. And so we have here the Dome of the Rock that marks the place on the mountain where supposedly Muhammad touched down. This is also built over the stone where Abraham uh, was to offer Isaac. And so this is a very holy place for Muslims and Jews alike. And here in front of the Dome of the Rock, as you go up, uh, this is south of it, we're going north toward it. This is the El Cas Ablution Fountain. Where the people can come and wash here. Okay. So here we are on the steps. There are eight steps that lead up to the Dome of the Rock. And these archways are called Quarantines. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. King Hussein replaced uh, the aluminum, golden aluminum, with real gold. So that dome is real gold. You can see how beautiful the colors are on the mosque as I zoom in closer. And you can see the Arabic writing there. Just a really beautiful sight here. We're looking back uh, south now toward the El Cas Fountain. Now that's the entrance to the Al Aqsa Mosque there. I waited until here so you could get a better view of, of what that looks like. We're not allowed to go in either of the mosques, so we'll just be wandering around outside the complex here. All right, so here we are. We're over on the east side, close to the uh, steps that would go down toward the Golden Gate. And here is the sweep of the Dome of the Rock. And you can see the sun shining on the dome, the morning sun. Beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, the colors really look lovely in the sunlight. This gives you a panoramic sweep of the okay. northern end of the uh, Temple Mount area. Anybody need the slide? Special inside the mosque slide. We have paused here and gathered around what Dad has called the cupola of the Holy Spirit. This is a little. A shrine built over the bedrock of Mount Moriah and dad's explaining to them that the minority view would be that the temple the uh, the second temple would have been lined up with the eastern gate and there's actually room here to build a third temple uh, so there's not there are a couple different uh, three different views on where the temple actually was and this is one of the views that this was actually uh, right here and, and where the cupola would be is close to the Holy of Holies. So um, this gives you an idea. We are in the north, this is the north end of the Temple Mount area. They're very, very sensitive, especially the governor. If any riot happens, he's through as far as his political career goes. Mm -hmm. And so they've got the military here making sure everything's peaceful and they're going to try to trap Jesus and he says uh, render whose picture is on that? Caesar. Caesar. Caesar so he says render to Caesar the things that are Caesar and to God the things that are God what could they say to that? I mean that was that was a very clever and intelligent response okay. and Gary said that, the rock through the pool of the Holy Spirit. yes Shlomo Gorin Solomon Gorin, okay? Just a and he, shot Gary there. told me that he knew him Quick and he came visited. Here's another really great view looking through one of the quantum tiers toward the Dome of the Rock. I'm looking west. I'm over here next to the Eastern Gate. And we just had our group picture taken here on the steps. What a beautiful shot. Okay, now over to see the Eastern Gate. This is the Golden Gate that was sealed up. 
this is not the original uh, gate of Jesus time but I think it's the Ottoman gate and uh, we're heading on over this is the gate that Jesus Christ is going to come through when he returns in the second coming here we are another shot of the gate you can see the golden onions of the Church of St. Mary Magdalene there on the right down below that would be the Garden of Gethsemane and here we are making our way toward the side of the wall the eastern wall here we are looking down toward the gate this was uh, this was done in the Crusader time period and then renovated later on by the Ottomans and then sealed later on but one day this gate will be open looking forward to that day <laughs> 